Fix has some new products coming out and we're gonna show you about those. But first, we're going to fix our concrete slab. Check out all about it on this episode. Hi, I'm Ryan Jinx. And I'm Bobby Hutton. And we're fixing a lot of things today. We're gonna do fix hangers and we're gonna fix the concrete. So we were doing some tests on bolts that we installed a few months back and we noticed something was wrong. The, the grass was moving again. And we wanna test about 12 more things in this concrete before we take it out, which we'll cover that in a minute. We are going to add an aluminum bar between here and here, some scrap metal I have to keep the thing from moving and hopefully it'll compress that and break our stuff. You think it'll work, Bobby? We'll see. <laughs> Bobby knows a lot more about these than I do, so maybe we can get him to stop shoveling and explain them to us. Action! <laughs> I just visited uh, Fix Hardware over in Bishop. Uh, they showed me a new product that they have. Um, this is their redesign of their super popular hanger. Um, they've done a couple cool things. Um, one, they've made them lighter. This is a thinner bar stock. I believe it's 3.5 millimeter instead of four. Um, the thing I'm most excited about is they have rounded off the edges in there. That was always a complaint of mine is they had a really sharp edge here that um, would chew on your carabiner. Probably the biggest change is it is a new material now. It is 316 uh, L stainless steel. That's an upgrade. That's a little bit better steel than the 304 stainless that they have been using. And they had a, um, a duplex stainless, their PLX, which they can no longer use because it doesn't fit in that standard apparently. So they've switched to this. And to be more educated, we tried to look up that standard and one is very hard to find. And when I did find it, they wanted to charge me 90 euros to look at the standard. So I didn't look at the standard. If you want to look it up and share it with us, uh, that would make us happy. So another thing that is a selling point, I guess, I don't know how well it will work, is there is a little dimple in this now. Um, this is a little concave down here and this is a little convex. The thought behind that is that it'll act as a lock washer as you tighten the nut down or tighten the bolt, depending on what you're using. It will press it into the rock and then that resistance of the deformed metal will hold it out and act as a lock washer. Um, other things that they've done, they've moved these little dimples further away from the center and it also seems like um, this is set up a little bit more so as you're wrenching it down, you're not banging against the, the surface here. So fix is new hanger. We have a seven point anchor and it's holding a, a BFH, the big fat hydraulic. Then you got your pump and your battery. And uh, got a dynamometer. We're gonna get a better one of these soon so we can actually see the number as it's pulling right next to the bolt. We're gonna probably place these somewhere right here and hopefully the concrete doesn't move anymore. And we'll find out when it starts to deform. Sometimes it's between four and eight kilonewtons depending on the metal. So, Did it straighten out? No, like look, like that that dimple's in the same spot as this. So wow, it stayed. It stayed. So I'm pretty disappointed by the results because they dropped the MBS on this, and it's not 25 kilonewtons. Let's take a look at it. 39.06. That's nowhere near 25, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not too worried about losing the PLXs because, well, these are pretty strong. We did get what. Uh, Almost 50 on some PLXs though. Almost 60 on some of them, I believe. We'd have yeah. to go back and look. Yeah, it's insanely strong. But this, this is pretty damn strong. Sorry, we'll get a better dyno without so much reflective shit. Coming soon. Huh. 
Well, looks very, very similar to the other brake. Wow. Such different results. Let's go look at the number. I haven't seen it yet. That's very different. Yeah. That's quite a variable. It is, it is, it is still above MBS. Yeah. I could get behind that or under it if I was climbing. Yeah. <laughs> If you're a metal nerd, that is what three sixteenths looks like unpolished. Something else I like about these is that it's a little bit more dull and that's really nice. It's just not so shiny on a wall. Let's see what number we got. Above and BS. So 29.6 means they can't exactly put 30. Yeah, but why did we get 40 on the one? Because we installed it wrong. Because <laughs> when you don't use products the way you're supposed to, it makes them stronger, apparently. So you want to break another one? I want to break another one. We're going to find out if installing them wrong makes them stronger consistently. While Bobby's putting in the fourth bolt, let me tell you about what we're using as bolts. Um, we just use these so often, we don't even think about bringing them up. These are 3 8 inch Titan HD concrete screws, basically. I think Monty screws are common in Europe. These specific concrete screws, we have found to be pretty strong. These are zinc plated, but they do come stainless. And the zinc plated ones, because they're cheaper and we're just using them temporarily, they're um, one of the strongest things that we can put in. And that's how we're able to test all these hangers. And what's nice is they're reusable for us, but we would actually use them for like climbing routes. Some people think that a cold, hot cycle can loosen them, but they're also easier to check, inspect, replace. So Bobby's used 3.8 stainless in an area that gets very, very cold and very hot. And those freeze-thaw freeze -thaw cycles over several years yeah. have not become spinners yet. So they have not worked themselves loose and we've pulled them straight out and shear and they're super good. So let us know in the comments below what you think about these for climbing hangers. I mean, bolts, you know what I mean. <laughs> it's tired, whatever, you know, you know. Here, you can start drilling, Bobby. Well, let's just, just move on. It's a hanger. It did its hanger thing. And I can't believe that we're getting 39.34, 10 kilonewtons stronger. <laughs> when you clip it like- When you stole it wrong. <laughs> yeah. 10. That, 10 and, and they were both like it's, within a kilonewton, both our, our two sets of data points were within a kilonewton of each other. That's 30% stronger. Yeah. 